So I feel like there's a huge possibility with this material, and I, I'm pretty excited to see all of you guys. If you guys are interested, enjoy this stuff because I think this will start to really open people's minds up because we all want to make money, right? Yeah. This is Halo material for young. Spring Halo is for young. And this is a trans material. This adds color, but it, it doesn't manipulate value at all. So those are those translucent? Yeah, translucent blue. And then this is a structure. So we have opal paste. I, w I really demanded them to get me opal. Ice is the blue opal and this has the reddish opal. So what would you use that on the label side? On the corners. On the corners. Yeah. You, we want opal because all our enamels have opal. That's right. So I was like, hey, no one has paste material that are opal. So that's true. Like if we want opal, if we want that extra little thing, then you know, we, if we don't have it, then I don't feel confident. I, I want that. And then they were like, okay. In two hours, I got something. And I was like, oh, we need a little bit more translucent, a little bit more like this. And we're developing something that will look exactly like this on, on that material. Are these all fluorescent? They're all fluorescent. We che I checked that. I I'm a little anal with that kind of stuff. So I was like, what about fluorescent? OK, this looks OK. But what about fluorescent? Does it, net does it fluoresce just like natural teeth? So we, we put a. Uh, employee of, of Ken Michael, we pulled her in and then we went to the restroom, dark re restroom, seven people inside and checking with the black light. So I was like, okay, this floor is real nice. Yeah, I think so. Glaze liquid is glaze liquid. But, you know, usually I would have this zirconia completely polished. So if you polish, everyone everyone probably experienced this. If you polish it and you try to put liquid on there, it puddles up like oil and water. So I complained about that to Don. I was like, hey, your stuff really doesn't work. And then he was like, okay, why don't you try this? And he gave me he gave me a glaze piece. This was in the beginning when I, I wasn't so familiar with the zirconia. So I like to polish my zirconia. I don't like to leave it rough like this. But there's a lot of studies that when glaze wear off in the occlusal areas, the functional areas, if it's rough like this, it's going to be like sandpaper to your natural teeth. Right? So these glaze fish, you always want to mix it. And that never dries out? No, I haven't seen it dry out. I had, I had this material on an open palette like this. But I had like a plastic lid, like a loose plastic lid, not something that'll suck in. I had it on my bench for ever since I got back from Liechtenstein, and that was about three weeks. And it always felt the same every day. I was curious, you know. <clears throat> so I'll show very briefly what I would do to stain and kind of bring that life back. So first, if you guys seen the the little lecture that I did, it's. I put the color, I mean the, the glaze, so that it, it could flow universally. And I don't want it something like this wet, so I kind of rub it. But the liquid's still there, just enough. And I always start with chroma. Really, you could use whatever color you like for chroma. But what I like to emphasize is that I never make like brush strokes. I see a lot of people that do this on zirconia. It leaves that streak. And when you fire it, you see spots because of that. So I don't know if you guys, a lot of you guys did opaque, applying opaque, paste or traditional opaque powder opaque. You kind of let the brush kind of float on top, right? And then you move the thickness around the same way. So there's no brush strokes there. And then I use a translucent straw. 
this might look like it has a lot of color and it has, it's very dense looking. After you fire it, it's very translucent. So it adds color, but it's translucent. So I usually apply this on the area that I want that little bit higher value zone, the body one third. 